I want to ask you all about a somewhat racially charged email sent by a Montana judge. David, tell me about it. Yes, this was a, a, a joke that this uh, U.S. District Court judge who was appointed by George W. Bush in 2001 forwarded to uh, some friends and family, half a dozen of them or so, uh, and it uh, essentially was uh, about uh, a little boy uh, who is um, black asking his white mother uh, uh, um, about his father and 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 the the the, the he mother. Yes, why am I black and you're white? I, exactly. Yes, and 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 the mother says, well, you know, if if uh, uh, you're lucky that that you're not a dog um, uh, after the party that I went to. I mean. This this is the you know an outrageous kind of thing um, to think that a, a federal judge would be forwarding it's this. It's outrageous from anybody, but to think that a federal judge, Shauna, would send this out. It just highlights that this is not necessarily the post-racial society people would like it to be post-President Obama being elected. And, you know, the thing that we didn't say about the joke is that the mother says, Barack, you're lucky that you don't bark, um, which is why everyone's up in arms. Apparently the judge is going to apologize or has apologized, um, and, and that's fine. But there's a larger conversation about racism in this country that is going to continue, and things like this keep bringing it back up. One last comment on that email sent by the Montana Chief U.S. D District Judge Richard Siebel. Uh, he did apologize, David Wellner. What did that apology say? Well, he acknowledged that this was a racist joke that, that he sent out, and he uh, he apologized for it. At the same time, he said that he, he opposes President Obama. And in a sense, uh, without his actually saying it, it was sort of saying, well, uh, if you're against this president, uh, you know, these kinds of things uh, get done. Um, and, and uh, I mean, it, 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 it didn't quite sound like a, a full apology in the sense that he was qualifying it that he was against the president. And, I, you know, there's this feeling I, I know in, uh, among some in the African-American community that people get away with things regarding this president that they don't get, that they have not and don't get away with with any other president. I mean, you could debate that. Certainly Bill Clinton and George Bush came in for their share of contempt. Uh, but that's a very strong feeling and something like this really feeds into it. As does, by the way, recent comments by Reverend Franklin Graham, who who sort of questioned the president's Christianity and and suggested he would be seen as a son of Islam by Muslims, and then he also apologized. But nonetheless, there's a little bit of a sense that there are certain comments that are out there, and there's a question about whether or not that would happen with other presidents. Sure. And yesterday we had Sheriff Joe Arpaio out talking about the president's birth certificate again, and this. This is something that won't go away no matter how much we deal with it. And that just plays into this idea that they wouldn't be asking these questions if he were white.